Excitement is building on the campus of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. The NCAA tournament gets underway this week, and the Retrievers are the only local team going dancing this year. WJZ is live in Catonsville. Jonathan McCall with the March Madness fever that is sweeping campus, and really all of us, Jonathan. It definitely is, Just You know what? This place has been buzzing since that dramatic last second shot on Saturday here on campus. You know what, folks, we've been talking with all day say that shot really finally put this college on the map to be able to show the world what's happening here. With three seconds, two puts it up. With seconds left and a flick of the wrist, Jarris Lyles punched the UMBC Retriever's card to the big dance. This is the best time in the history of UMBC. The excitement of the dog's first trip to the tournament in a decade is spreading across the 13,000 student campus. It's obviously a big deal going to, going to the tournament, going to the dance. We're well, actually having a lot of um, parties here in support of um, the team, so. It's really quite awesome. It's been like really hyped up, extremely hyped up. Everyone's like really happy about it. The school, which has racked up dozens of awards on the chessboards, now looks to add some hardware from the hardwood while proving doubters wrong. The Retrievers are the only Maryland men's college hoops program in the tournament. Students say they and the rest of the world should take notice. Not just College Park can go to the tournament, you know? Um, that our team's actually pretty good. With the Goliath matchup against number one seed Virginia. We're ready for everything. We come to games with the uh, expectations to win. Students are planning to head to Charlotte to cheer on their team. A lot of my class, my peers are talking about going in, in support. I wasn't, but I, now that you put the idea in the head, maybe. Knowing that anything can happen during March. Go UMBC. And that's right, anything could potentially happen in March. We're told that no official send-off plans have been uh, planned as of right now, but we're told that the, that the school is planning something later on this week. Those students rallying headed to Charlotte to cheer on the team. Live tonight in Cadenceville, I'm Jonathan McCall reporting for WJZ. Oh, they must be so excited, Jonathan. Thanks.